We are all dreaming of a green Christmas, like $2 billion worth. Yes, everybody talking about the Powerball jackpot right now that has reached a record $1.9 billion. Our Phil Lipoff is picking up tickets for us all right now. Hey there, Phil. I did. I actually, TJ, I actually bought a GMA ticket. More on that in just a minute. There are so many dreams because there's so much money. You're talking about $1.9 billion. It's a $929 million lump sum. That's the good news. The bad news, if the odds were even slightly in your favor, this wouldn't be the 41st drawing in a row without a winner. It's the largest Powerball pot of all time. $1.9 billion, and it can be yours for just two bucks and a lot of luck. I think it's everybody's dream even to win just a million dollars. But talk about a billion or now almost two billion dollars. This is generating so much excitement. Why not? It could happen. Billionaire hopefuls in long lines at gas stations and mini marts across the country. This is Prim, Nevada. I'm learning how to play the lottery today. 41 consecutive drawings since the last huge winner took home nearly 700 million in California. So what are your chances? As the cash prize goes up, your odds of winning stay the same, a staggering one in 300 million. You have a better chance of being struck by lightning and bitten by a shark. As lottery officials say, larger jackpots are happening more often. They also urge caution. We want to foster an environment with responsible gaming. The lottery is meant to be fun and entertaining, so please don't spend money that you wouldn't otherwise spend on fun and games. The winner can choose a payout over 29 years or take the lump sum. It's a staggering, staggering sum of money. Former gas station attendant Timothy Schultz won $28 million in the Iowa Powerball in 1999. And in 2012, Brian Losey, also from Iowa, gave back to his community after winning more than $200 million. <laughs> a new high school football stadium and giving his town a new grocery store. And seeing the joy and the appreciation and, and the change it can have on them um, has been probably the most rewarding thing over the last six years. So past winners and the lottery will say the first thing you should do is sign the back of a ticket and then actually take a picture with the signed ticket. Uh, as I said, I did just as he opened this guy behind me. There's been a steady stream of people in and out. I bought a ticket for Good Morning America. And now that I've said that on Good Morning America, we'll figure out how we split it. But I also thought it was a little bit of a conflict of interest that I even do this story, guys, because I'm fairly certain this is the winning ticket. <laughs> <laughs> how do, how would it. we handle that? Yeah. Well, how do we would handle that? Would the show be on if, tomorrow? Like, yeah, but are we all? Do we'll we all have claim to that ticket? If that thing won. I think it's Phil's ticket. <laughs> well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.